Hey everyone, so last weekend I put up a poll and let everyone decide on what video you'd like to see next. To my surprise, you all voted for some Borderlands 2 builds. Now, I wanted to take the time to explain that this build was more of a fun experiment that I was working on when I was doing an SMG only challenge for Maya. Don't worry, it's not only SMGs, but the overall build I'm sure could be a lot better. I still needed a couple more items to be truly satisfied with the end result as well, but I hadn't been as lucky regarding my loot luck. That being said, I try to make challenge builds and just overall enjoyable builds that I find fun to use. Maya happens to be one of my favorite characters in all of the Borderlands series, so this was a lot of fun for me in general, but I really enjoy her synergy, her support abilities, and her adjustable playstyle. She can run and gun around the battlefield, keeping teammates healed from time to time, but also output a great deal of damage to enemies who don't prioritize her. Now with this build, I prioritize damage over health, but I found that relying on my transfusion grenades to be somewhat annoying, so having to switch from magic missile to slag enemies, but also to regen my transfusions for more health, it goes without saying that Maya is already really good at slagging multiple enemies with her phase lock, but utilizing the singularity to maximize as much elemental damage as well, I opted in for doing basically all range of elements here, keeping the focus on crowd control over single target enemies. Okay, let's go over some of the weapons I'm going to use for this build. In my first slot, I'm using the Pimpernel. Uh, Pimpernel is only really used for the 50% splash damage that buffs Maya's skill Reaper with the 5 pellets that burst out, also giving us a nice 100% critical hit buff, and also allowing us to slag multiple enemies. In our second slot is the Sandhawk. I have one of each element if needed, but this weapon is basically mandatory as it carries a ton of damage using both our mod and our skills, creating a nice synergy. In our third slot, I have the Grog Nozzle, mostly for health use and slagging enemies outside of the phase lock. And lastly, I have the Lady Fist for the 800% critical hit damage. For my shield, I'm currently using a B shield, and yes, I have one of every element if needed. As for my class mod, I have a Legendary Cat class mod uh, for the additional points in Mind's Eye, Wreck, Accelerate, Reaper, and Foresight, all of which I use maximum points to push the threshold of my overall damage and survivability. And for my grenade mod, I decided to go with the Quasar. It's the all-around best for damage output for crowd control, but uh, if I needed anything for health, I have an O negative on backup, and if I needed to regen, I have magic missiles, uh, just mostly for regen and slagging. For my relic, I'm running a Bone of the Ancients for elemental damage, and for my cooldown rate, I'm phase locking. All right, so let's go over our skills really quick. In our motion tree, we have Ward to passively boost our shields for survivability, and to work with Inertia, which creates a nice synergy. I'm also using Accelerate for gun damage across all of my weapons, more so as a consistent DPS boost, as well as a nice bullet speed for the Sandhawk. I'm using Kinetic Reflection to make enemies take back 100% of the damage of reflected bullets, but also to mostly reduce the oncoming damage output on Maya by 50%. I have points in Suspension uh, to increase our Phase Lock duration. This is again mostly to just apply the ultimate use of our Action skill. We have Converge, which allows Maya to also use her phase lock into a Singularity ability, pulling enemies in for maximum usage towards her crowd control and slagging abilities. We have Inertia, which allows Maya to recharge her shields and boost her reload speed. This mixed with Ward gives Maya a lot more survivability. And I put most of my final points in this tree and Quicken, just for the useful boost and cooldown in my action skill. Obviously, phase locking is extremely important, so this was a must for me. I had a lot of trouble putting points into Maya's Harmony Tree as it's the bulky part of her health and support for the team composition, but obviously I'm doing this as a solo build so I didn't really push too far into the team composition part. So first off we have Mind's Eye which has full points just because of the critical damage boost allowing the passive to be a little bit more helpful. We have Sweet Release to be more consistent with health coming our way if needed. I decided to put full points in Wreck because it's one of the best skills for Maya to have to output more DPS, and since we're going to be phase locking pretty much all of our enemies, it'll come in handy for sure. I also chose Elated because we do not have full points in Sweet Release, so having the option to have consistent health regen just seemed like a better option for me. I also went with Sustenance to help mitigate any downtime between moving from target to target to allow myself to have a little bit more health, and it's always going to be going up. I also am going to note that with my only issue mainly with this build was really keeping my health at a good rate, but with these skills I noticed it a lot less, so I'm sure things could be adjusted, but I'm happy with the way this came out. And lastly, I'm just going to talk about my favorite tree on this build, Cataclysm. It allows so much room for elemental use as well as boosting her DPS, so of course I went to some points with Flicker, mostly just to keep slag chances high, otherwise DPS is just going to tank a bit. 
Uh, I used Foresight so we can reload fast, but also keep the high mag size on all of our weapons. I used Helios, which adds a little bit more flavor to this build, adding like a nice fiery explosion every time I phase lock an enemy, creating a really nice damaging aura around the entire singularity when I phase lock. I chose to have Chain Reaction, which aids Converge as well because it lets Maya take on more enemies within a large crowd, especially if they're starting to push in a little bit closer. Uh, cloud Kill, this, this skill really surprised me. I don't normally use this skill, and I don't really know why. I didn't think to put it on at first, but noting that I wanted to use an elemental build on this one, I noticed that Converge itself can assist with so much more DPS output. Five seconds of consistent corrosive clouds on your phase lock target helped out so much, and uh, it was nice to have that between reloads and other enemies pushing me, so it was a must-have for me. I chose Reaper as well because it puts every enemy above 50% health in extreme danger because Maya can now deal 40% more damage to them and that is multiplied across the board. And lastly, to complete my entire build, I put my last point in Ruin because of the ability to slag enemies but also corrode and electrocute them, thus finally making my Elemental Queen build work. So there it is, that's the build. I know it isn't perfect, but I really enjoyed this build. Uh, it has a lot of uses and it's made cleaning up Pandora a little bit more enjoyable. Um, I wanted to make a build that I can do most of the fighting while staying alive. Maya is extremely good at being a supportive Vault Hunter for her team, but I really wanted to test out her DPS without going too overboard. I will leave my save file in the description as well as the Loot Lemon page if you guys want to copy my exact build. And I just want to say thank you all for watching, as it really means a lot to me and it gives me a lot of motivation to kind of make these videos more regularly. And uh, I didn't realize that the Borderlands community was this positive, so again, thank you guys so much for the support. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are a couple more items I need to go farm. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.